What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be going over all the changes you need to know about in Fortnite's ranked update. As always, if you guys do find this video helpful or informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what rank you think you're going to be able to get to. So the ranks will be on screen now and there's an iron to unreal ranking. Uh, so you, you will progress through the ranks like you would see in many other games. You will select a game mode that you want to play. So there is no more arena or pubs, it's just BR and zero build. And then when you select the game mode, you can toggle on ranked or unranked, similar to how you would toggle on fill or unfill for like duos, trios, or squads. But there is only select game modes for ranked. In build mode, you can only play ranked solo, duo, or squad. In zero build, there is only ranked duos at the moment, but they do have the ability to add the other game modes later down the line if they choose to do so. It's just starting off with duos, which is somewhat similar to how Arena was when it started. Back in the day, it was just solo and builds when it first came out. You'll, When you play your first match, you will get your rank, and it's based on how you perform in that first match and your past match history. So if you're someone who's played thousands of match histories like thousands of games you have thousands of wins you could die off spawn in your first game and still get a pretty solid rank it's not like your initial ranked or placement match really determines everything it's a lot much more on your like prior history as a player and you'll get points based on how you'll perform in the match and the ranks of players you eliminate so if you eliminate someone with a higher rank than you you will gain more than if you eliminate somebody with a lower rank than you and also kills in the game will be worth more than early game kills and placement doesn't matter or placement does matter as well so you want to like make it as deep into these games as you can not only because kills are going to count more but because you're going to get better placement as well um in build mode they changed the material cap from a thousand to 500 you will farm mats faster and you will get material siphon on eliminated players so 50 of each mat type in addition to what they had so if you eliminate someone who just hit the ground you're going to get 150 mats from them 50 wood 50 brick 50 metal later in the game maybe someone has like 200 of each they'll drop 250 so they, they added siphon mats into pubs because in public matches and ranked the loot pool is the entire like same and that's one thing that is very divisive arena has had a very different loot pool uh than pubs at a lot of times because there's just a lot of things that aren't competitive in fortnite you know i mean look at the game right now the lightsabers not very much a competitive item if you have a stacked end game and then somebody's just hurling the rocks everywhere with the red lightsaber it's gonna get pretty crazy and that is one of the downsides of um like one of the steps backwards taken from arena to this ranked mode is that the loot pools aren't the same and that there's going to be a lot of non-competitive items and ranked maybe they'll fix it later on but it, i uh I, I think a lot of the competitive community is not going to be too happy with that and then also hp siphon is not in ranked or pubs this is where you got 50 health or shield upon eliminating another player and this was very like much needed and competitive because of how stacked the end games would be um you would have a lot of fights in Storm endgame and you'd be able to survive strictly based off those siphon health kills. And that's always been like the best feeling in comp when you do have a stacked endgame and you're kind of like shambles, but you're like able to clutch it out because of your kills. Uh, with no HP siphon, I, I don't think that's going to be as much of a thing. There were also a decent amount of augment changes in this update. So they added the rarity check and shotgun striker augments back into the game. Rarity check gives you siphon on elims, which you get with white or green weapons. I think it was 25 health. And then shotgun striker gives you siphon on hits against enemy players. So as soon as you shoot someone with your shotgun, you get some health back. And this is going to be insane in zero build with the exotic maven. We saw this in the most wanted update. This combo was like the most effective way to win. And I think it's going to continue to be so. Uh, just exotic maven plus shotgun striker. Or even just like high rarity maven, high rarity combat plus shotgun striker is very, very good. The supercharged and aerialist augments were made more rare with this update, and sniper surplus, game time, chug gunner, and forecast were all removed from the game. Another thing that was removed from the game was the trios game mode. So yesterday, when you tried to play, you could play solos, duos, trios, or squads. Trios has been removed. There's only solos, duos, and squads now. I'm not really sure why they did this, but I would imagine it was something to do with the extreme amount of AI in the squads game mode. Uh, splitting those players between squads and trios, I feel like just made both game modes easier than they needed to be or less populated than they needed to be and there's more AI and with the ranked update coming in and potentially splitting the player base even more, maybe that's why trios was removed and maybe it'll get added back in the future. But if you're a newer player to the game, 
trios wasn't always a game mode i believe it got added in 2020 so for most of like chapter one i guess for all of chapter one and the start of chapter two there was just solos duos and squads so it's not like this is a ridiculous change that's something that's never been heard of if you do enjoy playing trios you can still play trio squads like you just ready up and play squads or you can get a fill or, um, and play squads that way but it is unfortunate for those people that really liked trios i would prefer trios to squads personally but uh, they chose to go with squads for whatever reason. Miles Morales and Spider-Man 2099 are coming on the 22nd. And they will look like this. I'll have a picture on screen of what they'll look like in the item shop. The Miles Morales skin actually looks really good. And the Spider-Man Web Slinger will also return, which is a fan favorite item from Chapter 3, Season 1. If you guys didn't play that season, but you played later on, the Grapple Glove was basically a toned down version of the Spider-Man Web Slinger. The Spider-Man Web Slinger had 80 uses, and you could shoot before landing i don't know if they're gonna nerf that it does seem like the web slinger will still have 80 uses but with the grapple glove once you grappled you had to land before you could shoot your gun but with the spider-man web slinger you could grapple and then shoot while you were in the sky i'm not sure if they're going to end up changing that we'll have to see when it comes to the game grind rails were added around citadel uh that is not my favorite thing citadel was like already a poi i didn't like and i haven't been a fan of the grind rails that much yet so uh, it's an interesting combo there and then there's also these weird kind of like roots coming out of the ground uh, near the cracks in the ground around the map so something is going on there with these roots or whatever this is going to be uh, I assume it will have something to do with next season but that is going to be it for today's video I hope you guys found this video helpful or informative remember to give it a like if you did subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below what you think about this update I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching That might be the place to be. The only thing is that's kind of questionable about it. Like, that might be good, too. But I feel like that... I don't know. Everywhere in this zone kind of sucks. I feel like it just all depends on what other people do. Dude, just die. Dude, if he hit that snipe on me, I would have been so annoyed. I just cannot hit shots today. Holy. My aim is so terrible. <laughs>